Welcome to finding my way throughout the day. A fiber fog talk. Perch pondering. Here, let's clear this fog. Sometimes you have to ignore it. There we go. I can see clearly now. No, I won't do it, Logget. Okay, friends, I haven't talked about fibro fog in a long time. And since I'm experiencing it, I share it. Cheers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good day. Today is simply a talk of finding your way. Something, you know, I will say just quickly for fibro fog, I take extra CBD, I have extra coffee, I do extra walks, and I try to keep busy. But sometimes when fog rolls in, it's here to stay for a while. You can't do as I did in the beginning and click and make that fog disappear. It's there. And for those who don't really understand fibro fog, fibromyalgia fog is the dulling of the senses. It is, fibromyalgia moves through your body. It changes the way you, your brain reads information and, about pain and about the workings of your body. You could even end up with a stomach ache that you don't really have. Fibro is weird. But when it hits the brain, it turns into a fog. It turns into a thing where linear thought, thinking something from its beginning through fruition to the end, becomes a difficult and sometimes impossible task. Even just this video alone, <clears throat> you may notice some jump cuts. You may notice some morphing. You may notice some difficulties because I'm trying to stay focused through the fog to tell you about how I can't stay focused through the fog. And therein lays the rub. So instead of this being medication specific about fibro fog, this is just simply sometimes you can't beat it. Sometimes you have to simply find your way throughout the day. And that's been my last couple. Sometimes when fibro fog hits you, it hits at a time that you can actually nurse it and look after it. And that's when I do the extra CBD, sometimes extra THC. Some, and this is not a recommendation. This is what I do. But there are times like this week when there are too many outward pressures and stressors and troubles in your life that you can't just simply shut down and say, sorry, I can't think that thought through. You can't do that. So all you can do is struggle through. Sometimes that's okay. It's important to let those people know that you're working with or dealing with or dealing for or working for or whatever. It's a tough day and I'm doing the best I can. Sometimes with fibro fog, I definitely have sometimes just stayed locked in. But this week, there were too many things to think about, too many things in my personal life that needed looked after, too many people relying on this old guy to help them through theirs. That may be one of the most difficult things in life is trying to ignore a fog that doesn't allow your brain to do what you're telling it to do. So you're trying to tell it to ignore something when it isn't working very well in the first place. So Mostly, this is to don't kick yourself in the ass. You know, first of all, 
it's damn hard to do. Second of all, it hurts the ass. But mostly, it's just ridiculous. You don't beat yourself up. You are who you are. You is what you is. You do what you do. And as long as there's good intent behind it, people will get through. So don't let the guilt hover over your head. Don't spend your day in bed. Instead, remember what the hippie said, and that is, it's okay. You're okay. And people will understand. And those people that don't understand, you kind of have to just say, that's on you. That's not on me. I've let you know how I feel, what I'm doing, how I am. If you want to do it later, if you want to push me now, it's now on you. So, I know there's no solutions to this because there is no medication. There is no, oh, you've got brain fog, pop this pill. There isn't. There's just simple doing the best you can with what's in front of you while being honest with those who might get affected by your thoughts and warn them, hey, you know what? If I say something pretty odd, throw it back at me. Give them permission to be open and honest with you and tell them you won't take offense because you know they aren't giving it. Remember that. Don't take offense. It's usually not given. Friends, it's a short one. I hope you come to the live show on Friday. I hope to see you on the weekend and Hippie Church on Sunday. And remember, there's always links up here right from the beginning right through to the live shows because I want you there. Cheers. May your Thursday, may your Friday, may your weekend go wonderful. And may we all stay together. Love you all. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.